Good morning, good morning. It is Monday, May 10th. How crazy is that? Monday, May 10th. And guess what tomorrow is? May 11th. I fly at 11. What time do I fly? I have to remember. I have to look it up. No, I'm not in the bathtub. I didn't even try it because yesterday was just, oh, I am now in premium class. You are now, you are now in premium class, Oakland. Take off tomorrow at 11. Oh, this is kind of cool. I take off at 1140 and arrive at 144. How cool is that? I have nothing on my, I need something on my lips. Like now. Stat, as they say. Stat. This is that stuff that's clear. And when you put it on. It changes color, see? Clear. Clear. <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, oh, so I've been moved up, which, you know, is kind of groovy. Doesn't doesn't hurt when you're flying anywhere. Hey, William. Hey, Barmondo. Hey, Julie. Oh, I love you. Three of my favorite people. Happy Mother's Day, Julie. So you went to a movie theater? Julie, can you jump on and tell us all about it? Jump on, girl. I, I miss you. I want to say hi. There are, how many of you here already? Five? What are you guys doing up so early? Well, I mean, Mondo, what are you doing up so early on a Monday? <sighs> yeah, I was going to do the bath thing because I bought two different kinds of bath stuff. I bought, I think that baby bubbles are probably a little bit stronger than adult bubbles. So I bought two. I could show them to you if you want. Now, one is a powder and one is you know, a regular bubble bath. So um, I was going to do that. But then, gosh, yesterday, well, I went to Petaluma and then, um, then I came back and walked and then I packed, I packed everything up. And everything goes to different places, you know. Oh, this is gonna go stay over here when this happens. Hey, Patty Loman, this is gonna go here from running here. Hey, but what's going on? And then, um, and then Michael said, "Are you hungry?" And I said, "Yeah. What do you want? I don't know. Hamburger, lobster, or tacos. That's what I was thinking. I had a thought. Do I want a hamburger? I haven't eaten a hamburger in forever. But a really good gluten-free, range-fed with caramelized onions." onion. I mean, hamburger. Tacos. Really slamming tacos from this little taco truck next to a place with beer. I, I, the beer wasn't very good. It was too sweet. Hey, Mama Grace. And then, you know, then I did the show and then ice cream from Smitten. Mondo, have you been, have you had ice cream from Smitten? It's very rich. You know what? I have some left. <laughs> I should try it. But hi, Mama Grace. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day again. Because every day is Mother's Day. Because now it's birthday time. She's she's partying. Grace is partying. So yeah, I'm packed. And um, Naomi's coming over this morning. I mean, no, I lied. Sibylla. Naomi, Sibylla. What is up with that? Naomi, Sibylla. What are the three... Wow, I never thought of that. Two of my favorite people have three syllables in their names. Gracie, oh, Grace is four, Graciella. But it's Mama Grace, so, okay, I'm right there. I am going to turn it over to, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to hear what it's like to go into a movie theater. Julie Lou. Ooh. 
Thanks, Dave. Hey, Bermuda. Hi, Julie Luce. I know, I know you only have 13 minutes, so go. Hi, good morning, good morning. So my son, Justin, for Mother's Day, um, picked a movie. He got to go and pick the seats. So he picked, he asked me, and I said the very top row, so nobody would be behind us. They couldn't sneeze on us. And then um, right in the middle, and then because they block them out. So they'll be, and we actually got three seats together. Usually they just do two, but there were three of us, Justin and Nikki and myself. And um, so when we got to the theater, there were just a few people um, waiting at the snack bar. Um, I mean, few, there were less than 10. So in this whole huge lobby of this theater, and I don't even know how many movies were playing, but um, we got to see the 30th anniversary edition of Fried Green Tomatoes. And oh. yes, I, I still cried. Yeah, <laughs> so good, so good. But um, so we, we got up into the theater and got to our seats. Um, and then we actually had like a barricade in front of us, almost like a, a, a hip high um, level, like a wall. So we couldn't actually see if there was anybody below us in the rest of the theater. It was really interesting unless we stood up. So we went through trivia questions and all sorts of things. The movie was supposed <laughs> to start at seven and then it didn't start at seven. And didn't start really? at 715 because I think, and then Justin saw somebody like an employee walk in and look, and he finally waved at them like, yeah, there's actually people in here. You can start the movie. So I don't think it started until 730. He was tempted to go find somebody, but um, we ended up being the only three people in that entire um, showing of the movie. So that was really nice, you know. You had a private um, screening of fried green was, tomatoes exactly. on your mother's right. Tree. Yeah, so if, if we wanted to, you know, cry audibly, we could, nobody would care. <laughs> and so, but it was a lot of fun, had a really, a really nice time. Do you talk when you, in the movie? Uh, not typically, unless there's some quick little thing I wanna say, but I'm, I, I want to enjoy the movie and I want the people around me, if there were people, <laughs> to enjoy You're the movie. You're not one of those people that goes, oh, I love this part. This is my favorite part. This is no, 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 no. You're like, I know, I'm trying to watch the movie. No, the only time I said anything was um, to Nikki because she didn't know who Fanny Flagg was. And we had talked before the movie and I told her that she used to be on Match Game. I didn't realize until I saw the, the information pre-screening that she had actually written the um, book. And so I was telling Nikki who she was. And then it was funny because there was um, pre-information of a gentleman representing the movie and talked about information prior and then talked oh. about Jessica Tandy after. So we stayed through all the credits and everything. Um, and he mentioned that she had been on the match game with Richard Dawson. And so Nikki and I looked at each other. It's like, oh, score one for Julie. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of cool, so, Julie. You yeah. actually know things. Wow, cool. Yeah. And then it was really funny because I did say one thing during the movie because she, um, Fanny Flagg made a brief appearance in the movie. And I leaned over Justin and I go, Fanny Flagg. <laughs> and she goes, no. <laughs> So that was fun. It was a nice day, a really nice. I didn't expect it because of, you know, everything that's going on right now in my upside down world. What's going um, on? What's the latest? Any, any? Yeah. New no, words? Justin, Justin um, uh, contacted somebody yesterday. So we're just going to try to go on. He's renting. I'm, I'm living with him and see if that goes better. But um, anyway. Wait, 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 wait. He's going to go to new place. He's, he's going to, because he's temporarily staying with me, you know, so it's, they're not just displacing one person, they're displacing two right now. So we're kind of cohabitating. Okay, and I don't you, have to, know. you have to stay that whole thing over because you froze. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you froze. So anyway, um, Justin came to help me out. And so we're kind of, it's a two for one package right now. So I think what he's going to do is he's going to go um, as primary and I'm secondary. So we're going to try that. There was an apartment not too far from here where 
Um, he used to live a couple of years ago. So he, he sent a message there. It's just, I mean, I got on this morning to apartments.com and the website crashed. Yeah. So tell me that there's not a lot of people looking. It's so sad yeah. and the, the prices are horrible, but anyway, so, but getting back to mother's day and what a lovely day it turned out to be because I got to um, see you and Melanie doing the walkabout. And, and that was really reminiscent for me because from the time I was in junior high and through um, even after Steve and I had gotten first married, um, my girlfriend, her family still lived in Oakland. And, um, and so that was, that was really cool seeing, and she just lived right there, you know, so that was fun seeing all the different things and, and listening to the two of you and seeing the shoes and the socks. And (laughs) so it was fun. And then, so that was good. And then my neighbor, Jane and I, um, not the neighbor that, not the neighbor that burns the paper. No, that neighbor's gone, but, Mm -hmm. uh, no, she's, uh, she's the one who's, um, Oh, that's the one you go that's the one you go get yeah. have cocktails yeah. with. Right. Yeah. So anyway, we went to outdoor church yesterday and they had, um, they provided, they'd make carafts of cold coffee and they had different flavors and cream to put in it. And they did um, uh, donuts, but they always individually bag them, you know, so you're not reaching into a box. It's, you just pick up a cellophane bag and it's got your choice of a donut in it. And then they, from Trader like, Joe's. Like this, like, yes. like three different yeah. bags. Yeah, just, just one, <laughs> just got one. An old fashioned, imagine. But oh. anyway, yeah. So, um, and then after the service, they did, um, they had gone to Trader Joe's and they had all these um, uh, big buckets of fresh flowers from Trader Joe's. Oh, from- Cool. roses to mom you name it every color every variety and then what the moms what we would do is we'd go we'd go up take turns and go up and we pick out the flowers that we wanted and then they wrap them and we took our bouquets home so that was that was fun and then I I um, house sat for Josh and Amanda um, their dogs they got a chance to go to Monterey with the girls right. um, yeah, that day and Sunday Yes, they have three dogs. <laughs> so we, we all take turns sleeping on the, the big sofa. So they have like a sectional. So I can, uh, we could accommodate all four of us, but usually it, the dogs rotate. <laughs> and then of course, like kids, they want to get up every couple of hours and go outside to, uh, you know, find a, find a, you know, a bush or whatever. But anyway, um, so that was great. And then I expected, oh, and then Jane and I ended up, we weren't, I wasn't planning on it, but we ended up going to this little um, cafe. It's a little breakfast place. It's only open from like seven to two. And um, they have an hour and a half waiting uh, period. And I, but they could accommodate um, three pairs of two at their little breakfast counter. And it would only be a half an hour. And I said, score, we'll wait for that. <laughs> so we did. So there wasn't anybody, you know, around us. The closest guy was, you know, quite a ways to my left. Oh, even at the counter there. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. So there would only, there was a, um, just a single kid next to me, but I mean, he was, he was probably two arm lengths or more away from me. And then Jane was at the end. And so there was no one by her at all. So it was really, we had a really what nice, have? I had, um, <laughs> and I had this your, I'm sorry to interrupt. Was this your first indoor dining experience? Um, no, it's not been my first. Okay. It's been like maybe my second or third, but I'd never been to this little place. And, um, I'm trying to think I have been to an app. Uh, Red Robin a couple like a month or so ago with Justin and Nikki. <laughs> yeah and also they are, are social distancing and I want to say hmm let's see oh then we've done the patio outside at Los Amigos Mexican restaurant that's just close to the house so it's been outside not inside which was nice also and so this time it was inside and I had um scrambled eggs crispy bacon and some little pancakes which was very nice yeah a little bit of everything and then but splurged 
I had a, a pina colada mimosa. <laughs> pina colada mimosa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there was Malibu rum in it Whoa. along with, yeah. But I didn't want to do the one that, and champagne and then the, the orange juice. Um, I didn't want to do the one that was tequila and champagne. I thought, you know, that's well, gonna why be why not? <laughs> well, I wasn't too sure first thing in the morning how the tequila and the champagne were gonna go. So I opted for something totally different. <laughs> tequila and champagne in the same glass. Right. I don't think yes. that's a great idea. Yeah. So I, yeah. I voted no. I went with the rum. <laughs> the thing about champagne is it has a lot of sugar in it. Right. So that's what that's what makes you feel kind of mm -hmm. yeah tequila has a has the lowest glycemic index of any liquor mm -hmm. and so when you drink that if and and if you don't drink it with that lime syrupy stuff uh-huh right it's not gonna give you that or make you feel hungover uh -huh. or any of that. Uh -huh. and it um it actually is good for your intestinal tract Mm. So, and a good thing to drink with tequila is pineapple juice because oh. of the enzymes that are in pineapple juice. Uh -huh. It actually is a, is a clean drink. No, that's good to know. Yeah. I was just, just a little worried about the combination. I don't know if I froze or you, froze. oh, we're still good. Anyway, so that was really nice. And then, um, came home and, and puttered a little bit, checked, you know, websites and availability again. And then um, Justin came and asked me if I was interested in going to a movie. And of course, my he's already been to the movies a couple of times. And so he's not he's not having any any issues, but he's he's fully, fully vaccinated. He's he's all good to go. So um, and I'm not sure about Nikki. She may be also um but anyway uh it was it was very nice uh i probably didn't we probably didn't leave the theater until after 10 o'clock by then oh did then, you have a nice nice nap in the middle of the movie i uh, no no why are you kidding no i didn't want to miss a thing <laughs> that's when i i'm like it's it feels like its own little space and i just kind of oh, get cool and comfy and oh and they were lounge chairs you know, the, oh, yes, the automatic lounge chair. So that was really, really nice. And so they'd gotten a big bucket of popcorn and then um, had asked for three little plastic trays. So we each had our own tray to, you know, put some popcorn in and then just would pass the bucket every once in a while. So it was, it's it was so really civilized fun. anyway. That's what, you know, why didn't they do that 90 years ago? Like why right. would they eat out of a bucket of popcorn with three? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, no, but I have some. I'm like, I'll have some off the top, pour it into my hand. Yeah. Um, but a little container, I like that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So that was great. And then I mm -hmm. dashed back over to deal with the dogs. And then I just uh, dashed back this morning about 7 30 to um, try to get set up for school. And anyway, so that's and oh, and the girls did um uh they they Google FaceTime me yesterday from Monterey and Charlie was so cute. She gave me a tour of where they're staying in the, they've stayed one place uh, on Saturday and a different place last night. And last night they actually had an ocean view. It was really gorgeous. Ooh. Yeah. So that was fun. And they were going to go to Bubba Gump's, I think for dinner. And Reagan was excited because she'd had, I think chicken fingers or something the day yeah, before. Uh, no, but Charlie would be the shrimp and seafood person she loves seafood reagan's a little still at not quite five pretty pretty picky that <laughs> we need to have him back on the show once you figure out where yeah. it's happening where and will we'll ever be you yeah. need to be out of there by um i june 15th i'd like to be out of there I've, and if there's no garage if it ends up being a carport well i'm already gonna have to rent a storage because i have way more furniture than anywhere i'm gonna be able to go so that will be that will be weird and then trying to decide what you what you go and you know do you put your your great grandmother's Havlin in storage scares me I know I so, I'm I'm packing yeah, you've done it <laughs> I'm, I'm the stuff that I have in storage here I've been going through and I 
right. is able to tequila champagne I, right right yeah right right yeah yeah that's a good I know, I yeah. Anymore, but it's I just saw, I just saw, I glanced over and and saw a comment from Armando. Yeah, just the tequila, tequila champagne. Just it just didn't sit right. <laughs> Not on a Sunday morning, you know. No, just fresh from right. church. Just sounded My a little <laughs> brain city. First, <laughs> they uh, had a they had a mermaid mimosa, and I think, and it was blue, so that was a a possibility too. But um, no, anyway. That's that's I'm actually for me I'm allergic to that right I remember color. yeah blue Caraco or what is that Cur what it is Curacao oh uh-huh so yeah so I didn't didn't do that I would have been happy if it was just a straight mimosa you know champagne and orange yeah, juice what are they, what are they would, trying to do yeah. there don't invent the mimosa reinvent right. the mimosa. it's just it's give me yeah <laughs> but so, so what's that was today? What's the agenda? What are you guys? Working um, so in a few minutes, I don't know what time is it. Oh, yes. So um, a little before nine, I will uh, go on. We'll have our advisory today. And I was just looking to make sure we didn't have any. Um, I don't think I missed any. Oh, it was so so bad. Well, it wasn't mandatory, but I was I was hoping that I didn't miss any staff meetings this morning because. Um, Thursday, even though I had notes everywhere, it was not a, it was a very emotional day for me. And um, I kind of, kind of, um, yeah, it's, anyway, so it was not a great day. And I spent my lunch in my car um, uh, with a, would have been a box of Kleenex, but I didn't have it. But anyways, I came home and I totally missed my three o'clock faculty meeting, <laughs> but it was okay because it was an optional one. And he was just talking about um, like maybe the schedules for next year, you know, think about he wanted input from different people. Do we want to do a block schedule? They're talking about starting school even a week earlier, which means almost um, no time off in August, maybe a week. That's and which is horrible and, and i get dinky i get dinky this year in august so that's pretty sad and then um does that mean uh, you won't be able to go to dinky um uh, maybe for the first week and then it will be some week some weekends will be my only will be because my you only can't option do dinky because you don't have wi-fi but if you had wi-fi you could do it oh no i have wi-fi up there but i think we're going to be full on oh you're going to be in school full on uh, yeah, school. Like <laughs> yeah really huh I yeah didn't get the vaccine <laughs> use use a few so of my days <laughs> yeah see if i see if i can't squeak out two weeks so um anyway yeah so that'll that'll be interesting but we'll we'll be good and then i didn't get to talk to my colorado family other than my son sent me a text early in the morning and he had said, um, we haven't, we're working on shipping you your Mother's Day um, gift, um, part one, part two, if you come out this summer, um, you could pick it up. And I, I said, um, you know what, why don't you just hang on to whatever right now? And um, I think we'll be doing um, FaceTime for quite a while. <laughs> okay, how, so. about, how about cash? No. Just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. I. That's okay. Um. It's. It's more like the. The reference. They. They want to see you look good on. On paper. So anyway, that's a. That's no, another I'm just story. saying like instead of another thing like my, my mom or food, yeah. my mom like we like consumable. Get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something you can eat. Yeah. Something you can drink. Something you can. You know, look at just flowers. I didn't mean uh -huh. to like, just send me money, just like something yeah. that. No, I know. Yeah. Well, it's like, um, please, nothing right now that I have to pack or store. <laughs> right. So, anyway, unless, but I'll show you. Unless they want to buy you, unless they want to buy magnets for the rest of the family. Those oh, are. Yes. And see, and I was thinking about that too, but I don't know where to have you mail them. These are my, can you see my flowers from oh, church? Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at my that. Flowers from church. Oh, there's a. That's a Gerber <laughs> Isn't that a Gerber daisy? Yes, it is. Isn't it we gorgeous? We saw Gerber daisies. My you sister. did. You did. Yeah. Yeah. My sister and told then, me about Gerber daisies. Yeah. And then these, Josh and Amanda and Charlie and Reagan got me a bouquet of flowers. Wow. Another yeah, Gerber. So two and another. Yes, yes, yes. 
So those were pretty. And then, and then they got me, this is so cute. They did a, a Mother's Day card and then they all signed it. Oh, so that was cute, Aww. even little Reagan. And then I have to laugh. So Justin, he's my middle son. This is this is the card he got me. Can you see this one? Super cute. Yeah. Oh. And it says, it says, Happy Mother's Day from your little S H um, no I T. <laughs> and he, it was so sweet because he put Happy Mom's Day, no matter what, you have always been there for me. I love you bunches. Not sweet. Yeah, that's really sweet. Yeah, yeah. So that was very sweet. So anyway, good day, good day all around. It was awesome. I just, you know, little little surprises you didn't expect. Good day all into the night. You were out late. Yeah, all into the night. Yeah, yeah. And then the dogs dogs behaved themselves, so it it all worked out well. <laughs> so anyway, but it was it was a, you know, and. No complaints. Even watching, even watching the pre-screen like for 20 minutes and not knowing if they were going to start the movie ever. It was like yeah. I just looked at, I looked at Mickey and Justin. And I go, well, no complaints from me. Because <laughs> it's a nice, it's a different environment, somewhere different to be and have yeah. your family. And you uh -huh. had a private yeah. screening. That's so cool. And a private screening. Yeah, that's never, never happened for me before. <laughs> So I didn't know so, that they were re-releasing -re that film. I love it. I know, I guess. And there's a lot of different um, movies they're going to be re-releasing as anniversaries and things. But it was uh, it was really cute. But it's a film. really cool movie. I watched The Sound of Metal. Have you seen it? The Sound. No, of I have not. Uh -uh. Guys. Wow. Oh, I just was as a musician, and I know, I know that. I've lost some hearing, but just uh -huh. it's an intense movie. I liked it. Mm -hmm. I give it, I give it some, um, I don't know what to say, four, four lip glosses. Oh, like so high glasses. accolades. Yeah, <laughs> but nice. Very today nice. I'm making pancakes. My friend Sybilla just said she's coming over for pancakes. Nice. Do you have blueberries? I do. I have just a few. Uh -huh. left. Yay. I was trying to think I was going to make potatoes because I have all these potatoes. And then I thought uh -huh. maybe I'll make potato pancakes, but oh yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Gonna make the, I have, um, I have lots of herbs and gr greens out in the yard that I'm going to have some mm -hmm. because tomorrow morning I leave here. I know. I know. Yes. One adventure after another. And then my friend, um, Roger, Dillahunty and I, Roger, incredible dancer, you guys. Oh my goodness. He is going to, we're going to meet for lunch today, a late lunch, late, uh -huh. afternoon, you know, like dinner kind of lunch thing. Uh -huh. I don't know what that would be. Do they call it liner or something like that? Uh -huh. So, Cute. yep. And then tomorrow yeah. morning, I take off. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And do you get to take Miss Lillian Pearl on the plane? Pearlie's coming I'm with doing Excellent. She's all packed up and ready to go. Yeah. Our bag is over here. I'm uh -huh. taking more stuff than I need to, but I'm going to be doing other things while I'm there. So I have, uh -huh. I have, I have one bag is just for the, for 11, 11 with Jenna. Uh -huh. Very nice. Yep. So, Very nice. Yeah. Sounds so that's, good. Right. That's the story. Morning glory. Alrighty. Oh, Armando calls it Dunch. Oh, interesting. Oh, well, I haven't that. heard. I'm sorry. I haven't heard. Um, that's a story. Morning glory for a long time. Um, somebody used to say that to me sometimes. So that was that's like that's kind of cool. That's cool. Yeah, neat. Well, I better jump off All and right. and get prepared. But everyone have a wonderful day. You especially, Miss Jenna Thanks. and Miss Lillian Pearl. You too. So, We'll see ya. We'll see you on the flip side. <laughs> really loose, everyone. Bye. Bye. She's so cool. She's so cool. The sound of metal or sound of metal. Yeah. You got a consumable, a bottle of m and a bottle of wine, not a bottle of m and wine. Whew. Bottle of wine and m and peanuts. Mama Grace. I mean, like, right? 
this is the if, if I ever wanted if I ever asked for a gift this is what I would want right here this chair I love this chair Heidi Heidi I will be in Lake County on I have gig on June I keep thinking it's a different day than it is I think June 6th I will be performing at the brewery in Lakeport from 6 until 8 p.m. And then, nope, I totally just, that's wrong. June 5th at the brewery. June 6th at the Blue Wing in the morning. And then, do you, you guys want the exact times? I'll tell you. I'll tell you what's happening here. Do, 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 do. I have Moon River in my head. Okay. Saturday night in Lake County. Saturday, June 5th in Lake County. Yes. Okay. That's that. But I can tell you what time it is happening because, because I can't remember. Omira Brothers time has now changed to 6 till 8 p.m. So Omira Brothers on that Friday, that Saturday. And then um, yeah. And then Blue Wing, Saturday, June 5th, Omira Brothers from 8 to t uh, 6 to 8. Then Sunday, June 6th at the Blue Wing brunch, 11.30 until 2 p.m. And then, then also in the same place at the Blue Wing, live from the Blue Wing radio show, Sunday, June 6th from 6 to 8 p.m. And then it's 11.11. So we'll be doing, um, I'll be doing the early morning 11.11, probably on a, on a walk or from the bathtub, because that's the bathtub. That's, I have to make sure I have a bathtub room. Peanut M&Ms. Yeah, they're not my favorite, but they're definitely when they're around, I will consume. Definitely, definitely. Yay, Heidi. Yay. Good to see you in Lake County. I'm excited to be there again. <sighs> yeah, that's what's happening. And the Charmers are working on some other gigs, so that'll be happening. Charmers. Gentlemen, the Charmers, Patty Loman, we're going to have, um, yeah, so I have to figure out how to put this, la the, this, what I have in front of me right here is one suitcase. And I just told Naomi, I said, I said, picking you up, she said, picking you up. I said, remember, I checked a bag because I'm a girl with a lot of baggage. And she said, perfect, LOL. Get to see my girl. I can't believe it. It's been, it's been like almost, it's been almost 11 years. I think it's been, nah. We stayed with her one night when Andre and I had a gig. Yeah. Yep. Andre's been gone. Is it going to be nine years? I think. So anyway, it's been way too long when we used to, when you've lived with someone for years and then been in the same town with them for years and then you don't see them for over a decade. That's a long time. That's too long. So if there's someone that you need to see, at least FaceTime them today because a dear friend of Dave Loves um, and and Joe McBride died in his sleep on Sunday and he's been on the show and he and I talked on the phone and I know that they're in deep grief right now because he was a brother to both of them for sure. So hold, hold both Joe McBride and Dave Love in your heart. I know you have the space. And tonight we'll be doing a meditation and tomorrow morning, I'll be, I don't know, maybe just in the garden. 
I might do, you know what, this is all going to be packed up. So I will do a um, remote tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow night, Andy Raider, but I will be in Seattle. And then Wednesday morning, Patty Loman. I'll, I'll message them today and see what they have around the house or, the, or what they like, what Shima likes. And then so that Wednesday morning, we will make and bake. Rob Morocco. Rob Morocco. And then Wednesday night, I think it's going to be a little, little bit of wine in the kitchen. Maybe I'll make a little like a, well, Naomi's a bomb shit cook. So who knows what she's going to be making. And then Thursday morning, I think <sighs> we'll be live from the backyard. Could I have coffee with you tomorrow morning if you're interested? Are you in the Bay Area right now, Heidi? Actually, I'm flying out tomorrow. And I need to be at the airport. I'm, I'm leaving for the airport at 930. So kind of tight. Did you have a fun Mother's Day? Hey, Rob, do you feel like jumping on? Do you have time or do you have one ear here and one ear here? I got, you know, a friend of mine gave me some of these ear things. And I don't know if they're charged, but I don't really know how to pair them. I guess I just go to my Bluetooth and they're, they're one of those generic kind. They don't have a name on them, so I don't know. What'd she say? What'd you say? Let me just see. I'm going to go to my Bluetooth and see what happens. She had four pair. She's like, oh, do you want one? I'm like, I guess. But I don't know what they are. Other devices. I'm waiting for the other device. This could be it. I-12? Let's see what happens. I've never done this before. They're a little. Let's see if it works. Hold on. Only in one ear, though. I think only one ear works. Hey, Mama, how are you? Because I just I just got these uh, um, earplug things and I wanted to see if it worked. Okay. All right, good. Thank you. Did you are you eating M&Ms for breakfast? No, I'm on the show. Are you eating breakfast? Okay. All right, bye. See you. So one ear works. I don't know why the other ear doesn't work, but weird. Oh, now I can. Oh, now I'm on the. I can hear me on my show. I'm seeing it here, but looking at it here on my. Eye. Oh, and now Dolly Parton. Am I packing my boots? You know, I'm not quite sure what to do with the boots. But now Dolly Parton is singing. I don't know why that's happening. Okay, I needed to turn that off. The boots are sort of their own being. Hi, rap, 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 rap. The boots are like their own thing. And so they need their own suitcase basically. So right now, yeah, it's only happening in one, only one ear works. Like this ear is not working, but this ear, but I don't mind that. 
I don't need to hear someone in, you know, but Dolly Parton's back. Watch, let's see. No, not there, she's not there. Yeah, it's just, it only one worked, but you know. It'll be, whoa, it'll be fine until I lose it anyway, so. Packing my boots, yeah, the boots will go in their own and then into a Because I don't know when I'll be wearing them again. I just needed to, I needed to see if I could, if I could, you know, if, if it could actually happen. So to bring them out again, mm, I don't know where that will be. They're kind of there. That might be, you know what, Julie, or a wrap. Maybe that was it for the boots when it comes to performing. Maybe the boots, now that I, I did an opening show after the pandemic, they could be haunted. I don't know. I don't know about buds. It, this, is, this is my introduction to buds. One worked, one didn't. How's that? Hmm. I need to do a, a photo shoot with the the boots. That needs to happen. So I think what I'm going to do, thank you, Rap. You just figured out, helped me figure out exactly what I'm going to do with the boots. The boots are going to a studio. That's where the boots are going, to a, a photo studio, and then I'll I'll have the boots photographed. I might take them with me up north though. And maybe I'll do some preliminary shoot like um, on the ranch with the boots. On the ranch with the boots. Maybe the boots just go with me from now on and I just take photos of them. You know, oh, there's Jenna at the, you know, on the high line with the boots. They're made for, they're not really made for walking. I mean, I could walk in them, but they're not like walking boots. I did go to the walk store yesterday and I, I got these really, I tried these really cool shoes on. They reminded me of earth shoes. They had a rounded toe and they weren't hokas or hookahs or haukas or however you want to say it. Hookah, hoka. I know they're comfortable, but they're, they make me, they, they, they kind of make me a little wobbly but they're comfortable. They're like walking on a Tempur-Pedic or having Tempur-Pedic on your feet. What's going on, Pearl? Anyway, I think I'm going to, yeah, they do. I am going to, what am I gonna do? I'm going to um, go make pancakes and go make a smoothie and see my friend Sybilla Savage. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm happy that Rob was here and Armando was here and Bill was here. And Bill, thank you for doing all the work that you're doing. Oh, Heidi's gonna be there tonight. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, tomorrow would be kind of, it's just a lot for me, but I'll see you in Lake County for sure. Very cool. And you're, you're going to see Roger this week? How fun. So we have Roger in common. That's so cool. I love him. I can't wait. Everyone, Mama Grace, I'll talk to you in a while. I need to do some last minute prep work before Sib comes over so we can have some good time and eat pancakes. All right. Huge hug. Stay safe, stay healthy, be nice, be nice to yourselves. <sighs> thank you, Rap. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. Rap. I wonder, 
Does anyone know Gloria? She would be fun to have on the show and then we could wear our boots. I wonder who has the other pair. I wonder. Someone I know. Oh, I know someone that probably knows her. They are pretty cool boots. Boots. Beautiful thoughts. Bountiful words. And uh, I think I've done this one before. Bang and heart. But nah. Bodacious heart. Have a good one. Love hard. Really hard.